and talking shit and about brothers that are trying to go look and exercise their options. And that's really, people get a lot of, people kind of much getting tired of it. And the Filipino women are getting tired of it. And they strike it back. Because ain't nothing weak about a Filipino woman or a Filipino man. Just like ain't nothing weak about people in the West. So we're going to hear what Filipino say, uh, P says. And, you know, and it's a far back to the B-dubs. And I'm talking about the plantation bros. Because if you want to know what a plantation bro is, that's a ninja that's broke. And for whatever reason, no money and can't get out of the United States and don't have no options to get out of the United States. And he's hating on brothers with ideas that want to get out of the United States are already out. Remember, if you can fly the country, you're in the top tier of humanity. You're just not a regular person if you can fly into another country and take up. A lot of these brothers that are flying over there finding wives, and planting a flag and, and learning cultures and learning the language in the cultures they are in. In the Philippines, you don't really have to learn your language. You, you should learn the language, but you don't really have to because they speak English just like we do here for the most part. So let's hear what Filipino P guys are say and others. Y'all hold tight. Here. Remember. And several months ago, I did a video about the way some Western women were attacking and insulting men who realized the relationship game in their home countries had become totally unwinnable, causing them to look for partners in other lands. This group of men, known as the Passport Bros, have recently become the talk of the town, whether it's to degrade them or to sympathize with their mission. In my video, I wasn't nasty to the women at all, and I used humor to poke holes in their objections. But their reaction was swift and brutal, and it looks like I might have had a hand in accidentally starting an international war between Western women and us Asian women. For several months now, the accusations and insults have been flying fast and furious back and forth across the Pacific, with other Filipinas getting into the action in social media. The topic has become so hot, in fact, that just last week, I was asked for an interview by one of the largest TV networks in the Philippines. But so far, I remain silent. Until now. It's one thing to attack your own men, the ones who've chosen to leave. Of course you have the right to your opinions, just as I have the right to respond with my own. But when you go insulting us Filipinas, then your accusations warrant a response. And here's my response. <laughs> Let's dive right in. First, let's deal with your claim that we Filipinas are somehow lacking in language skills. Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, like women can, that can speak very little English. I just have one question. When was the last time you went to the Philippines or have you been to the Philippines? Have you also spoken to actual people from the Philippines in terms of speaking the English language? We gotta really check on what is current. I don't know where you're getting your statistics. And you say we're not very good with read and write and arithmetic neither. Women that don't have yeah, education. Uh, excuse me. When I say fair Is use, we have fair use on Filipino P. And school system uh, than the United States. So I check out our channel, Filipino P, on YouTube language. anytime you want. And we speak fair use. Dialects in my country. Subscribe to our channel. English subject from nursery to college. Filipino P. Fair use. It's not foreign women's fault if American men fall for them instead of you. You must understand, like us Filipino, we are naturally sweet. We are naturally like that, okay? And that's what they like about us because we are just sweet, understanding, caring. It's not because we are submissive. We're not submissive. You ask my husband that, he will not. He will tell you I'm not submissive. <laughs> so when you say those things about us Filipinas, how do you think that makes us feel? Don't tell us that we are uneducated. That I've been able to take care of my family. I became a breadwinner at the same time, a homemaker, but I am as educated as you are. I graduated cum laude 
and I am a teacher. And so it hurt me a lot when you're saying that people in Asia are uneducated, they are submissive. In fact, I am as empowered as you are. You tell them, sister. And now we get to the videos that managed to attack the passport bros while insulting his Filipinas too. When you go find a wife in the Philippines or Thailand or Eastern Europe or wherever these places are that are overseas, I'm assuming you mean they're more biddable, that they're less outspoken, they don't demand anything of you, that they're just happy to be rescued from their poverty-stricken life of no opportunity, and in return, all they have to do is subject themselves to your advances. I do wonder at your motivation for why you want to go overseas to find a partner. Is it because you prefer your women without opinions, unable to fight back, and vulnerable? Yeah, you got me. I'm one of those overseas women who doesn't have an opinion in my little head. I want to say fair use. Subscribe to that girl, Filipino P, on YouTube. Fair use. Please, sir, I want some more. These passport predators are the bottom of the barrel. And the reason they're going overseas to get women is because we don't want them. And they know if they go overseas, they're gonna well, they're more likely to find a woman who will do whatever it takes to secure a better life for her family. Trust me, we don't want them. And we appreciate you guys taking out the trash for us. Oh. You're welcome, lady, no problem. But what is a problem is that you're implying that we sell ourselves to do whatever it takes to be with a man that disgusts us. Are you calling us what I think you're calling us? Passport pros are people who specifically go from country to country to country trying to find women exotic flavors uh, to, to dabble in, right? Passport pros are like, oh man, uh, I can't find any good women in the States, uh, so I'm going to have to go somewhere else in the world. Like women are inherently different in every other country. It really starts becoming Believe new me, when they you are. go to third world countries, or countries you. that are not as advanced as ours. And a lot of these women are desperate, so they're, they're going to take you up on that offer, right? They want someone who is going to be submissive to them. And what better way to find someone who's submissive to them uh, than to Stop find the a woman cap. who is at your beck and call? Because, you know, the only reason she's in the United States is because of you. Sounds to me like a lot of control issue. Right. Uh, and to be honest, ladies, these aren't t the type of men that we want anyway. Right. Uh, these men want a woman that they can control Stop the cap. because they can't they can't find it here in America because uh, it's frowned upon to like own a human here. They go to other places in the world where they can legally own a human. Well, I thought I'd heard it all, but I just found out that the Philippines has legalized slavery. I wonder how much I could get if I put on a little makeup. And once again, Filipinas are depicted as desperate, submissive, and at a man's beck and call. Do you have any clue how insulting that is? But at least you consider us adults, unlike these next women. Clearly, underage girls. Do y'all realize when y'all comment, make comments on videos like how women are just jealous when, it, when we're talking about minors, meaning children, that y'all are basically telling the world what you, you you've done or want to do mostly you probably what are we doing on those girl trips when you go to Jamaica? So I, I tell everybody a man will uh what the goldberg told you that years ago in that movie year old or a 13 year old if you know he can get away with it stella got a groove woman where did the stella get a groove of a child <laughs> underage so men nasty fool so now a passport bro is somehow a pedophile who's just looking to do what he do with a 13 year old. Well, I don't know why you think we're underage, but we can't exactly help the fact that we look a lot younger than you think we should. Uh, actually, you're not alone. Shot this fire. Passport bro's movement is evidence to me that in the end, the trash usually takes itself out. Like the creepiest, strangest, and most annoying of men are deciding to leave the country and pursue children in developing countries instead of bothering us. And I'm not mad at it, but I think it's funny that they think we're mad about it. Go ahead, get your passport and leave too, because 
clearly nobody in America wants. We'll do, sister. We'll do. Okay, it's bad enough that you call the passport gross, creepy, annoying, and strange. But the fact that you aren't even bothered if they pursue children says a lot about your priorities. And thanks for implying that men can just come over here and hang around with children. You may not know this, but the Philippines takes that kind of thing very seriously. If a man is even seen with an underage child, he's immediately reported and investigated. Oh, wait a sec. I forgot. We're too uneducated and submissive to say anything about it. Carry on. Passport bros are real? They're saying they've gone to other countries to find more submissive women? I No, 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 no which means they are strategically picking countries that are stereotyped for having very relaxed, if any, rules around these two things. So they're going to other countries not to find submissive wives, but to find women and girls that they, you yeah, know. Sure, lady, there are no laws about domestic violence here. Our husbands can beat us all they want. And we're so submissive and desperate that all we can say is, please, sir, I want some more. So the implication is that men come here for the purpose of targeting women and girls. There's that pedo thing again. Just so they can physically abuse us. Do you have any evidence of that? Or does it just feel so good to say it? But what about the claim that it's all about money? I literally have all the money in the world but cannot find a man. I've been in that struggle. And I've thought to myself, should I go to another country to find a man? Should I go to a different place? Is it just New York City? Should I go to a different part of the country? Like, where can I find this man for me? What is very different about me though, and in my situation that distinguishes me from a passport bro, is that A, I have a lot of money. So I'm not going to Thailand to prey on young boys who have no money like I'm some of these beat ups do some under like some of these beat ups doing somebody who is not privileged and girl trip on their young boys like i'm not doing that when i thought about traveling to different places i thought about going to luxury spots like going to nice places and meeting people at a similar socioeconomic status, similar situation, people that are doing well, people that can understand what it's like to date a woman with means. I think that is why there is such a disdain, and certainly I feel this, a disdain towards passport bros, is because they're not playing on an even playing field. They're not saying, oh, let me go to San Diego and go to like the nicest, um, you know, country clubs and let me go and meet somebody. No, no, no. These people are saying, wow, people here don't respect me because I'm literally not doing well and I have to go to a country where people are living on less than $10 a day and that's where I'm gonna find my spouse. That is the part I have a problem with because then it becomes very predatory, very creepy and just kind of inappropriate. But again, when you throw in the financial inequity and the patriarchal system of preying under both youth as well as this gender disparity and the privilege that comes with that, I am not with it, I'm not with it. Okay, lady, it's great that you have more money than God and your biggest struggle is choosing which high-end resort to meet men at. But stop for just a second and listen to what else you just said. Women in your country don't respect men that aren't doing well. So what's a man supposed to do when he's not dripping $100 bills from every orifice in his body? How lucky for you that you can go hobnob with the rich and famous, but you do know not everyone's as fortunate as you, right? You say that people should find someone on their own economic level. But if a man who's not doing well isn't wanted there, what is he supposed to do? Just give up because Western women aren't interested in the contents of his wallet? Or maybe they can find a place where women won't reject them for their lack of resources, like the Philippines. What's wrong with that? It's amazing that when you find your level, it's just fine. But when a man does the same thing, it's creepy predatory and inappropriate. And of course, it somehow involves the dreaded patriarchy. But even when all your arguments have been thoroughly destroyed, you've still got your favorite go-to tactic, anger. Fuck you, go away, go find your women wherever you want if you're not satisfied. I don't know what to tell you. If you want a woman who barely even speaks English and just has to suck your uh, go for it. Trigger immediately. Well, F you then. Just go overseas. We don't need you. Whatever. Bye, loser. You see the anger? Do you see that? Yeah, I saw it, Bo. I saw it. But there's also some good news for the passport bros. Some Western women actually get it. Like this classy lady. 
Why are you mad because men are choosing to go out of the country, passport bros, and use their passports to get women that are feminine, fit, beautiful, inspiring, kind, cooperative, and submissive. Women that have traditional values. What makes, why are you mad about that? Here's the thing, the passport movement, passport bros, this is not a new concept. Men in the military, guess what? Many of them have wives that they met outside the country, okay? So this is not a new concept, and you know what else? My son-in-law is actually half Filipino. That's right, his mom's from the Philippines and his daddy is black. It's not a new concept, y'all. And for the final clip of the day, let's hear from a little fireball named Didi to give us the big picture. Well, I'm just curious as to why so many modern women are confused as to why men are leaving. Why we have the passport roles and men who have decided to look for women elsewhere. And some of them seem so oblivious to the point where they really don't get it. Men are looking for traditional women. And most men have Preach. always wanted traditional Fact. women. But because modern women were taught to go to school, you know, get their education. They were never taught to prioritize marriage, a man, or relationships. They were taught to go to school, get an education, take care of yourself, because you don't need a man. Live your life, have your fun in your 20s. Fast forward, here we are. We have a, a world full of modern women who are independent entrepreneurs, boss chicks. They don't need no man, right? But for a lot of these women, this entrepreneur, boss chick, independent woman lifestyle is not working out the way they plan. Because when you choose that, that means you may not ever have that family structure, that home, that two parent home. The majority of these women become single mothers because during that, oh, have your fun in your 20s stage. And then when they hit their 30s and 40s, they were not prepared for that because nobody told you what hitting the wall looks like. You were never taught how to be in a relationship. You were never taught how to treat a man, how to love a man. Also going forward, we really need to stop trying to shame men into accepting something that they just don't want. And women have to accept the fact that, hey, we've been taught wrong. We've been sold a certain set of rules and a lot of women ran with it. And now it's the very thing that's holding them back from getting or achieving the things that they say they want. Yep, that about sums it up. And if you'll humor me, I have a couple final comments of my own. It's highly insulting when people claim that we Filipinas are uneducated, don't speak well, are desperate, and just a slave to a Western man's money. Is it true that we see passport bros as an upgrade to our situation? Of course we do, but so what? Isn't that the same thing you look for in a man? To find someone that makes more money than you do? So why are you bashing us for doing the same thing? Seems a little hypocritical to me. But does it mean we're only looking for money with no love involved? Well, let me ask you the same question. When a Western woman rejects a man who doesn't earn enough, and you do it all the time, does that mean that all you wanted was his money? And the thing you really don't seem to get is that the men who come here aren't choosing underage girls or women from the slums that literally are desperate. They're mostly pairing up with average Filipinas. The beaten down miserable woman who sold her soul just to get a meal. That pathetic Filipina you seem to have stuck in your heads. She's the exception, not the rule. Well, thanks for joining me. And I'll be back on Friday with an interview you won't want to miss. Till then, folks. All right. So, so we're going to stop it right there. And I'm just going to say that Pookies and Ray Rays Plantation bros don't make it out of the country. They ain't got no money. You can't go overseas. Stay home, get your bills right till you're able to go. But for the brothers that are going, those are the top tier brothers in the country as well as in the planet. And they're privy to any woman on the planet. I don't like to use Donald Trump for no example. But he's never married a woman from the States. My point is, the world belongs to you. So, if you're not happy where you are, if you're not happy in your situation, you can always look otherwise and still find a fit, feminine, friendly, traditional woman. Brothers, get your passports. Now, my next episode... I'm going to show you my receipts to what I work with. Soon I will be flying out of the country myself and going to 
uh, the Philippines. But in the meantime, I just want to tell you guys, get your set together, pay your bills, do what's right, and love people. Peace. Subscribe, support my channel, get my help me get my message out. 8,000 miles away. Y'all have a good night.